word cigarette came from a French word which means small cigar. The use of tobacco in cigarette form became increasingly widespread during and after the Crimean War. Due to lack of proper cigar rolling leaf, soldiers began rolling and smoking tobacco in the strips of old newspaper, which helped by the development of tobacco suitable for cigarette use. Cigarette epidemic is one of the biggest public health threats the world has ever faced. In every six seconds, one person is dying due to cigarette smoking. People choose smoke for reasons like they may have a lot of stress and pressures because of economic and personal problems. They may have been unemployed or working but not making enough money to take care of themselves and their families. There are approximately 600 ingredients in cigarette. When they are burned, they create more than 7000 chemicals. At least 69 of these chemicals are known to cause cancer. Most people start smoking when they are in their teens and are addicted by the time they reach adulthood. Three of the main reasons that young people smoke are to look mature, to be like their friends and to experiment. Since teens see older people all around them smoking, especially their parents and relatives, they smoke to act older. If their friends or peers smoke, they may feel pressured into doing the same to be accepted. I am now in my 50s. I started smoking way back when I was in school. Initially it started as a kind of a mischievous thing to do, you know how boys are. We, we started smoking, you know, to che, feel manly. When I started smoking, people who were around me, like, they were started praising me that when I'm smoke, smoking, I will, I'm, I'll be looking like a hero or something. That insists me to smoke f so frequently. Anything which is not supposed to be done, anything which is banned, anything which is supposed to be prohibited. In adolescence phase, there is a tendency that let me experiment and see what happens if I smoke. Nothing will happen. Let me try it out. My friends are doing, my elders are uh, doing. So they watch and they say, okay, let me try it out. Thankfully, majority of the people who experiment with cigarettes do not become addicts. Uh, when you ask about smoking, is I have learned to smoke uh, in my UG while, when I was doing my engineering in Chennai. Uh, when you ask the reason means, I will tell the reason it all started with friends. So everything for a good or bad will start with friends only. But just while partying, while enjoying, while going outside, it all started with friends. Uh, people think it's very cool to use tobacco. You know, you often see heroes in uh, films smoking and you know, blowing rings. I'm sure all of us have grown up watching Rajni Kant blowing his very nice rings and always thought that tobacco is something very exciting. So when our friends offer it to us, we wonder what it's all about. We're very curious. When our friends smoke or use tobacco in any form, we start using it. Hi, uh, my name is Shashank and I've been asked about as to how I started smoking and uh, well, I started smoking when I was, let's say, 14 or 15 years old when I was in my 10th standard and it, it was just because of the influence of uh, people around me like I made friends or you know the society around basically the friends and yeah it went on to be a on and off uh, habit yes there is a common perception among the youth that if they smoke they actually become cool in front of people but to be frank it is very repelling people actually they stay away from people who smoke because of the smell the smoke everything it is harmful to the smokers as well as people who stand near them so guys if you think smoking is cool it's totally wrong cigarette contain nicotine which is highly addictive if you want to quit smoking you may find it difficult because you are addicted to the effects of nicotine. Some research has suggested that nicotine can be more addictive than heroin. Nicotine alters the balance of chemicals in your brain. It mainly affects chemicals called dopamine and noradrenaline. When nicotine changes the level of chemicals, your mood and concentration level changes. Many smokers find this enjoyable. The more you smoke, the more your brain becomes used to the nicotine. But when I went into college, it, my smoking increased. That was the time my addiction really started beginning, in the sense that I started becoming a regular smoker. 
uh, till then I used to be very very active in sports and physical activities like martial arts and things like that and uh, in those days it wasn't uh, it still didn't show yes i'm addicted to do smoking because whenever i'm getting tense i'm i'm feeling like smoking because so it helps me to make myself so calm and relaxed if i'm if i want to think more i'm like eagerly waiting for a eagerly waiting for smoke you know when i'm getting when i'm getting a cigarette on the time it makes my mind to so peace and calm and then it let it won't let me to get other get tension anymore among girls we find that more and more addiction towards uh, uh, cigarette takes place because of loneliness they don't feel that they have enough friends they feel uh, uneasy they want to lock themselves up in the room and they don't know what to do with themselves so there is this as you know nicotine is a stimulant so what happens is that once you have that initial cigarette it gives you a lighter feeling it gives you a feeling that things are not as bad as it looks i am okay starting from the simplest one that is caffeine what is available in tea coffee and cokes and all that uh, sort of thing going on to nicotine going on to ethyl alcohol and then drugs and all that these are substances which are known as psychotropic substances which affect the mind it first gets absorbed in the blood uh, stream through the smoke it goes into the stomach lining lungs from there it gets absorbed into the blood stream the blood starts circulating and goes to the brain when it goes to the brain it alters the brain chemistry now the brain starts craving for it the brain says if you don't smoke then i cannot function as i used to uh, the moment i started working that's when you know there was a little pressure on me and i i was again influenced rather when i when i saw people relying more on coffee and cigarette so that's when the quantity or the amount of cigarettes increased there are certain ways of knowing how addicted you are for example if as soon as you get up within the first 5 or 10 minutes of getting up you need a cigarette that indicates a very severe addiction once i wake up in the morning i couldn't able to control myself within 10 minutes once i either i'll have water or i i need a cigarette first thing i need to have a water and then i, I without cigarette i can't go to I mean uh, toilet also if you need a cigarette even when you're very sick that you're in bed all day and you still need to smoke or you feel like smoking or using tobacco in places where it's not commonly allowed like a cinema theater or a hospital that also indicates that you're having a severe craving so that is a recognition that a person has become addicted to tobacco one of the best things to quit smoking is to identify the things that make you want to smoke including specific situations activities feelings and people around you motivate yourself that you don't need external thing like cigarette to make you feel better as years progressed i found that my smoking was really taking a toll on my physical health but even then the urge to give up didn't come then finally what happened was i found that even small tasks especially when i was walking uphill i used to find it very 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 difficult then i knew that the damage by smoking had been complete i later on realized that my years of cigarette smoking had killed so many more things that i wanted to do in life especially uh, wildlife and physically uh, trekking related activities which was very very dear and close to me i used to do it for years but now i can't because my stamina and my lung capacity has come down drastically so that is something which I decided to years back to quit smoking and I had to consciously quit but when I decided to quit I didn't have much of a withdrawal problem because I knew my mind had been completely converted by then I said there's no way I should continue smoking anymore and that made it easy for me to give up when I'm smoking cigarettes like my friends who who used to be with me like they they try to avoid me because of a stinky smell and bad breath from me after that later on I realized that yeah it makes them feel so disgusting and awkward so let them start reducing what they are smoking if they are smoking 10 cigarettes in a day or 5 cigarettes let them start bringing it down if they find it difficult what they should do is when they go to the cigarette shop don't buy 10 cigarettes buy only one single uh, cigarette take a cigarette break it into half throw away the half and smoke only half so the amount of nicotine going into your uh, lungs is only 50% 
so when i try to control it slowly i reduce 18 into 16 1600 to 14, 1400 to all, and then on the, for that also, I need some other activities to do. You know, I used to go for jogging, I used to go for swimming. So, once I once you go for this kind of once you involve yourself in this kind of activities, you can't able to smoke. Any good medical checkup will tell you that not only smoking causes to start with, the first thing is your stamina goes down. If you are a young person, you want to run, you want to play, you want to climb steps, you want to trek, you will find automatically your stamina is going down, your lungs are getting uh, weak. The next step is that your heart becomes weak. When you are 15, 20, you may not realize it, but by the time you are 40, 50, you may land up with very severe heart conditions which should not have come to you till you are 60, 70 or something of that uh, uh, sort. How does one stop? There are people who say you've got to cut it down a little by little and stop. The, there are others who say you must do a cold turkey, which means you must stop it suddenly. Research has suggested that the best way is to cold turkey. That means to altogether make a decision to quit and to stop tobacco use. Uh, I tried quitting. Uh, I shouldn't be lying a word. Yes, I tried quitting and uh, yeah, could quit maybe on a stretch for three or four months, but then Things turned out a little awkward because of the withdrawal syndromes uh, wherein I had to actually get something else in, instead of cigarettes. I tried lollipops, I tried a lot of things. But that really does not work because I was used to smoking as a stress buster. The third level is those who have already become addicts. They cannot, even if they have a willpower, they cannot come out of uh, uh, it. So when they try to give up smoking, these withdrawal symptoms start coming in. Those are the people who need professional help. They need to get what is known as a de-addiction. The mind and the bloodstream has to be freed of this. There are medicines available. And then, after this, I found this is not help. This is not a permanent solution to quit smoking. So I approached a counselor who's, who will help me, who helped me for uh, quit smoking. If for some reason you've tried and you haven't been able to, and you have a severe dependence, there are several places now which offer tobacco cessation. They help you with counseling and with medication to actually stop tobacco use. So, if you can quit on your own, there's nothing like it. And don't postpone quitting. Don't say I'll do it next year or you know after six months. Take a decision to quit and do it right now. If you can't quit on your own, get your friends to help or get help from a tobacco cessation center. So remember, don't start tobacco use and if you are using tobacco, stop right now. And the third and the most horrendous thing is lung cancer and throat cancer. Both of these are very, very dominant in people who are continuously used to tobacco. So once you get into that habit, we have seen people dying of uh, cancer only because at the right time they could not uh, give up the uh, smoking. My personal message to smokers would be to please stop or to quit smoking. It's not easy. Uh, you have to try and do it. If you have the will, you can definitely get over it. Uh, you cannot just do it all of a sudden. You can bring it down, you can bring the level down, down, down and then finally you can totally quit smoking and believe me, I have seen people who have quit smoking and it has done wonders to them. Uh, their attitude changes, their behavior changes, uh, their complete, the aura of them itself changes. They, it's like they've come out of something very negative. It's good to see, it's, it's really good to see such people also. You, you feel more comfortable to be around with them. My suggestion for the people who used to smoke is try to control yourself. You have the willpower to do. Just believe in yourself that you can do. We have to think about the people who are smoking, they have to think about their dependents, you know, who are there in their family, wife, mom, dad, their friends and their boyfriend, girlfriends, whoever. We have to think about them also before doing all this. If you are realizing about everyone who around you, who believe in you, who depends on you, you will get the willpower and then you can stop. So please stop as soon as possible and then my best suggestion is to be don't be with the friends who smokes. If you are with the friend, they will tempt you to smoke and then they will force you to smoke. So don't be with such kind of friends. Thank you.
my advice to youngsters is cigarette smoking is a completely destructive habit it's very 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 addictive it's more addictive than any of the other substances normally going around um, it's it's very harmful and one realizes its dangers only many years later it can restrict especially if you're a very outdoor or a physical person it can restrict all your activities and it can literally sort of waste you i would suggest to youngsters not to ever touch cigarette smoking enjoy the beauty of natural life and enjoy whatever it can bring to you there's so much of joy it can bring cigarette smoking can kill all of it so it's better to quit smoking as early as possible